Bro, I've come all the way back to my childhood room. Do you guys remember that background? Hey guys. Hey guys, welcome back. Hey guys. Hey guys, my name is George. Hey guys. Hey guys, my name is George. Hey guys. This is me. Like, two years ago. Just like, <laughs> talking about hair and beard. Speaking of which, my hair is looking extra poofy, extra mushrooming today because I've not done anything to it. The reason I've come all this way is for that bad boy right down there. I built this thing when I was like 13 and I need to see what is on those hard drives. But I've already noticed a problem. I actually sold my graphics card. So that was missing as well as all the cables being unplugged. But I do in fact have the hard drives and I needed the graphics card. Therefore, I'm going to have to find another way that isn't this bad boy by taking these with me and trying to find a way to connect these to my Mac. Boys, as you can see from my hair, it has been quite a while. Connecting these two hard drives to my laptop has been a bit of a mission. You know, I thought, why not go to Amazon? And I bought one, just a random one I found, and it didn't work. After waiting even longer for another order, I have another converter and this one comes with a power adapter and I've tested it and it works. And turns out they both have a ton of stuff on them. But in this video, I'm only gonna be showing you this hard drive. All right guys, so I'm here with my laptop and the hard drive hooked up and uh, yeah, I had to go through great lengths to be able to connect it to my laptop and actually, you know, mess with some files. Another thing that you probably don't know is that I used to be a massive gamer. And so this hard drive was dedicated to my games. And as you can see here, everything here is to do with games. Um, but there's one anomaly. Why is the Overwatch folder outside of the Blizzard folder, considering Overwatch is a Blizzard game? It's because it's not Overwatch at all. It was a hidden folder, secret folder, with an invisible folder inside. This is how many layers I had to like, for some reason, hide these awful, awful pictures of me um, whilst I was at university. Anyways, this invisible folder is not invisible on a Mac, so it's not that subtle, but there it is. And you've got these categories. There's enough embarrassing stuff on the me, I assure you. So then, but you're gonna see some real, cringe in here and I am so ready to embarrass myself. So I think we should just start from the beginning, 2013. Boom. Oh my god. And there we go. This first picture looking <laughs> like a cringy kid. But you can probably tell <laughs> the beard, the hair, there's nothing going on. The hair is just doing whatever it wants. I'm doing my cringy face in every single picture. Don't ask me what that was. Why do I look like I'm terrified? <laughs> every picture my eyes are like, I'm like a doe in headlights, you know? Anyways, not a single hair on my face to be seen. Some really genuinely cringy photos. And as you can see here, this classic, beautiful physique update photo. Don't know what was going on here. I still have one of those little Samsung phones. Yeah, I'm just gonna flick through these as you can see. Just, yeah, an awkward kid. So now we're moving on to 2014 and uh, let's see what we see. So currently I feel like I look kind of the same, kind of the same, still cringy, still kind of not, nothing to show here. I don't know what these poses are. This thing, ah. Oh. And there it is, the shaving, which I had to, of course, grab the, gra <laughs> grab the tablet. I almost said iPad, it's not an iPad, it's not my tablet either. Um, yeah, shaving was a momentous occasion for me because I apparently used to take pictures every time. Um, even though I don't look like I had a lot to shave, I actually did have a lot of peach fuzz that grew really long on my face. So I did actually need to shave for it to look better. But yeah, no, this is a bit overkill. <laughs> And I don't know why I'm taking pictures. Yeah, yeah, it looks so cool after that shave. Oh, there they are, the braces. <laughs> I don't know if this is when I got the braces, but clearly didn't have them before and I have them here. And I don't know if you can tell over here, there's actually some, uh, some really long peach fuzz. And this is why I needed to shave because they were really visible. And pictures you can't tell that much, but 
Oh man, what a picture. I, I feel like this must have been the day I got them, right? Or s at least soon after I got them, because what is this face? Oh god. The outfit as well, so cool. <laughs> the Naruto pose? God. Um, oh my. This is painful. Guys, I don't know if I could do this. <laughs> I think I remember this day. I think my sister needed me to pose with a knife for a project or school or something. I'm gonna use that as an excuse if that wasn't the case because this is... I can't even look at my screen from how bad these are. Oh boy. Oh boy oh boy. This one I thought I looked super cool in my uh, Zara suit that was super slim fit but I didn't have a lot of muscle so it's not like it's a problem. Awfully framed photo. But, you know, at least I felt good in my, in my own skin. See, look, I didn't have braces here. I think my sister was just showing my teeth before I got braces, maybe? I'm kind of just putting a storyline together. It probably doesn't actually exist. There you go. There's a styled quiff half face, because I used to do that all the time. And uh, it's far too voluminous. So if you have a quiff, try and get it less voluminous. You'll see a lot more of that again here. And with the accessories, none of it looks good, but at least I was trying. A for effort. Damn, I was cool. Look at that pose. I don't want to go to school tomorrow. What a rebel. Oh, the outfit. Mm, I don't know what I, I needed that for, but yeah, there you go. More headset pictures. My sister. Da, da, da. Oh, I always had the coolest faces. And look, this progress picture is very embarrassing, but I'm going to be honest. I felt super proud of myself at the time. Because like two years prior, and I don't have pictures now because at the time I deleted them all because I was super insecure. I was really fat. So the fact that even though I don't have anything going on here, no muscle, no anything, and it was just kind of just a flat child's frame, I was super happy with it. Again, just being a cool kid with the faces. Oh my God. These... That is the most voluminous quiff ever. It looks dreadful. And I'm sad that I ever walked out of the house like that. Yeah, I was just so quirky, guys. I was this cool kid, man. It's sarcasm, by the way. If you think it's not, then... <laughs> In this, I probably did legit, I probably did three push-ups and I thought I was like jacked. <laughs> what is this? Oh, man, I was so cool. Look at the, the little mustache poking through. Yeah. Oh my god. It's painful, guys. It's painful to look at this. <laughs> Do you still love me? Ah, uh, the pain. Uh, should I shave? The answer is yes. You should have shaved. If, you're, if your facial hair is that ratty, then, then shave. And on that note, here we are. And as you can see from the pictures in the previous bit of the video, uh, it's definitely developed a lot since uh, our routine, so let's uh, let's get into it. But before that, big shout out to Brio for sponsoring this video. They are my go-to trimmer pretty much since I've had a beard. And uh, yeah, I love this thing. I'm going to use my Brio trimmer to uh, make this bad boy look much sharper. Let's get into it. This is the final result. If you guys want to achieve similar results, I did this using the Brio Trimmer. Head over to the Brio website and use code GEORGE for 10% off. Um, and yeah, they are the best trimmer. And uh, thank you for sponsoring this video. That was just a cup from the sponsor, which I love and I will look better. Um, in the next part of the video, but I'm gonna film the rest of this one first because it just makes more sense chronologically. So <laughs> um, Let's keep going. I used to play rugby and like to be honest I don't know how girls used to like me back in the day looking at these pictures because they're not good, but I Didn't do too bad to be honest, so I can't even speak <laughs> um, 
So that was 2014. Tiny bit of development on my face. The, the unfortunate reality is it's gonna get worse before it gets better. And I'm so sad that I have to show you guys this because it's so embarrassing. But hey, at least, uh, at least we've grown out of this, right? So yeah, I was doing some, uh, some garden photo shoot because I was just, you know, a cool kid. <laughs> Thought it was a model. Still got my braces. Um, ah, I started fucking with Photoshop. This is the year that I first started using Photoshop. 2015. It's just too big. It's just too big. That's all it is. And in every picture I'm doing something stupid. Like what on earth is going on here? <laughs> what is that? What is that? Yeah. This picture has some history, guys. It's dreadful. Dreadful, but believe it or not, this picture is the reason why I am doing hair content today. I don't know how that's happened. The context I was talking about is this picture here. I was in the Blue Man Facebook group. Back in the day it was popping off. I don't think it is anymore, I'm not sure. And for some reason I thought it was a good idea to post this because I was so proud of my volume. And then one of the admins messaged me and said they wanted to repost it, so they did. Oh, this is actually a different one because I regularly being reposted because of my big volume people apparently liked. I don't know why on earth they reposted this because it's not it's not good hair inspo. I promise you, you don't want hair like this. But um, nonetheless, this was the one that people first saw me on, on the internet, like outside of my friend circle. And uh, then I started doing more because people liked it. Like I, I, back in the day, I would never get 455 likes on one of my posts. And eventually I got contacted by um, Jake Daniels and Blue Man himself to make, uh, to, be, to be featured in their videos because they thought I had a good head of hair. And those videos got like over 10 million views each. Like they popped off, they were super viral. And uh, therefore I thought, why not start a channel myself? If those videos can get viral, I'm sure, I'm sure my videos can get viral too. And uh, here we are. Um, so that is a little bit of a story time. Yeah, started wearing leather. I thought it looked really cool. My hair's still way too big in every picture. Every picture you see this year, my hair's too big. It, uh... Look, facial hair all around. There's like actual beard. Still very patchy, but 2015 is the year that I think I had the most beard development. And from there, I just kept going and going. And to be honest, it's still just going and going. So yeah, as you can see, big patches here. I used to take a lot of progress pictures for my beard because I wanted a beard. You see the braces poking through. Uh, just not my best work, but good enough. Yeah, I was so, I was so proud of my big hair. But I don't know why. It didn't look good. It just didn't. And that's 2015. And then we go on to 2016, which is just going to be painful. It's just going to be truly painful. Yeah, straight away, got a great, great starting photo. Yeah, I just, I just had the coolest sense of humor, you know? Thing is, my hair definitely had a little bit more balance because it was longer on the back and sides, but it was still far too big. I, Forget everything I just said. There was no balance whatsoever. This is awful. Do not do this, okay? What on earth is that? It's huge. I don't know how it's possible. How did I walk around with that much weight on my head? It was probably like weighing me down. Here I was shaving with a big ass trimmer. Because my dad, he always shaves. He doesn't trim his beard. He shaves, shaves. So he never needed a trimmer. Um, I didn't have one yet at this point. Uh, now, shortly after this, I actually got a Brio and I've been using Brio ever since. So shout out to them. Again, I'm clearly memeing because this is just outrageous, guys. Like, oh, it's painful. Oh my gosh. How did I have a girlfriend? How did I date girls in general back then? People would look at me and like, I clearly stood out. Nobody has this hair. 
Have you ever seen anyone walk around with this hair? I clearly stood out, just not for the right reasons, and somehow people didn't tell me this was a bad idea. <sighs> Guys. Yeah, this is what happens when I didn't shave. Even when I couldn't grow a full beard, my neck beard was hefty. Hefty. Oh my god, yeah, I used to take so many beard pictures because this year, it was like, the beginning of the year I didn't have almost anything. By the end of the year, I had almost a full beard. And then the next year, I was just like, just filling in the patches, really. Yeah, look at that. that that's borderline full beard. If I let that grow and I trimmed it in a proper way, that would have looked solid, you know? At this stage, I would say you can probably get away with looking like you have a full beard. Um, the stages I had before this, I would personally probably just shave. College, what was I doing in college? Being a dork. And yeah, that's it. I don't know, there was three photos at the end here. Oh, damn, now this is old, old. Yeah, I don't have a lot of digital versions of these kind of photos. But yeah, guys, that is, uh, that is what is on my hard drive. Hopefully that makes you feel a little bit better about yourselves because it definitely made me feel worse about myself. Uh, actually, nah, I, I've grown out of it. I'm kind of happy that I've uh, left that all in the past. Cheers to that. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed looking at my embarrassing photos. It was actually painful for me to look through. Um, I kind of did it because it's, it's kind of like a 300k special considering we just hit 300k and on that note I kind of want to recommend my 100k special because that was a while ago and so many questions that you guys ask, ask me even today were answered in that video. It was like a QA. and a so if you were hoping that I did a QA, and a probably check out that video. Most likely the question has already been answered. Um, also, go check out one of my recent videos where I came out of a rut. I feel like that was one of the most relatable raw videos. And even though, even in this video, I've talked about a beard. Um, I do want to move away from just talking about hair beard stuff. So please check out that video. Go support it because I want to make more lifestyle stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, on that note, hopefully you guys enjoyed and peace.